So first we start the PowerShell. So we'll start uh, with the start button and then PowerShell IC. Uh, once the PowerShell IC is loaded, uh, we'll start the programming with it. So we'll maximize. Okay, uh, now first thing what we are going to do is we'll comment it as a display a message box. Okay, uh, next uh, we will load the assembly uh, with system dot reflection dot uh, assembly and then we we'll load with the partial name so uh, this is the assembly we are going to load and that is a uh, system dot windows dot forms so system okay so uh, this is loaded uh, for this uh, what we are going to do is uh, we'll display the message box uh, sorry about the typo yeah okay so the next is um, a system dot windows dot forms dot message box so that is the directive we are going to call i uh, will add a message here okay so uh, now we are going to add it so system dot windows dot forms dot message box okay so yeah we can see the drop down okay now colon colon and then show and then we we put the message um we'll put a message we are processing or or else we can use a proceeding with next step okay so uh, now we have written it uh, so we'll try to run it so we can see the message we are proceeding with the next step Let's press ok but you can see some message coming here uh, because of we are loading the assembly uh, that can be avoided if we use a wired before it so uh, we will use a wired now if you run it you don't see the message right okay you just see okay okay uh, next is uh, what we are going to do is uh, we'll comment it out and uh, we'll try some more experiments for example uh, our message box was not having proper title so uh, we'll repeat the same system dot windows dot form start message box or okay f o r form start message box uh, okay and then we will uh, we'll use the same the only difference will be this time we are going to show the title over the message so we are proceeding with the next step and uh, for this message i will add a title uh, so um, this is working so we'll add the title here called status so if you run it you can see status as a title okay so on this way we can see the, the status as well uh, any title over this we'll comment it out with title and uh, the next uh, we have different options to have different buttons for example yes no or uh, or else you can have uh, because in the previous you saw it was only loading ok button but we can have abort retry cancel or yes no cancel kind of things so on um, there are different options uh, we will will paste it for you uh, so that uh, you understand so this is the for ok we have one so these are different uh, error uh, not error just some levels which we can define uh, i'll comment it out so you can have different buttons like one it will be ok cancel and then about retry no um, those things so we'll copy this and then we are going to add the title 
and after that uh, we put a comma and four four will be yes and no so as you can see yes and no buttons are there and uh, based on the output you can take different decisions uh, for example the interesting one uh, will be uh, yes no cancel with three buttons okay so we press the cancel uh, now the next what we're going to try is uh, let's try with two um, there we will see about try ignore okay so uh, the next what we're going to see is uh, we'll open a new page um, wherein we are going to use one of the feature and we'll have a small uh, coding for that so this is the new uh, new script we'll copy the assembly part also so we'll have only two items this loading assembly and this message so once we show the message then we will get the output so right a fatal error has occurred so it will it will create a bot retry ignore and um, then we'll put a message over here uh, the output will go to output uh, variable you can have any variable name uh, then output uh, equals to hyphen eq then abort sorry for the typo abort okay so um here we put a message uh, for example echo um something like um, some action for abort so so that part is going and uh, we run it you can see the message and if you press abort some action for abort so whatever activity is required after this so you can see the output is very much simple and uh, that is the value of the button itself if the output is yes then it will be y e s yes here also we abort and then we try the other one that is called um, retry okay so echo uh, some action for retry so uh, here we have all the options available now and uh, the next is uh, will not ignore is ignore so there's no action required you can simply ignore that uh, so i think this is much uh, about this uh, message box and you can use in your scripts we saw these all the values and so just uh, you can see them in your map in my blog and uh, i think it can be useful for you okay thanks for watching